Mm -hmm. Wait one, if he's lying right one time now. Alright, skill off that couch for a minute. Skittle, Skittle off. Skittle off that couch for a So wait, who's in this? This is the finals. This is finals. blood and blood. Blood? Yeah. yeah. A meeting of the minds? Yes. Let's Psychonauts. See. Both gentlemen. Your brain power. Raz? I'm still Raz. going through two. Mm -hmm. Raz, it's, it's great. It is great. Yeah, me too. Great. I've said it enough time. <laughs> Same. I should go on tonight. Reviews. Like Reviews. And jury duty. What? You got jury duty? It's a thick, long ass case. Oof. They tried to get me to do jury duty, and I was like, nah, too busy playing games. Peace. And they were like, oh, sorry. <laughs> oh, 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 of course. Why did you say that? What? If you had just been honest and told them, I don't, don't want to I don't want to seem like a nerd, though. <laughs> I don't want to seem like a nerd. <laughs> It's Bloodworth versus Damiani. 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 Right, while they're setting up, you're going to be playing GT3. No one, no one will yeah. follow you for that. Okay. Could have been the boss by now. Could have. <laughs> <laughs> With all this happening? Bro, why don't you have it like, on the uh, handheld? When you, you play on Switch 3DS, version. bro. How good is the 3D in Streets of Rage 2 on 3DS? Uh, done. Uh, done. Uh, done. Uh, done. Is it your favorite? favorite? So rad. What? You know. The Video 3D implementation what? for an older game. For, for Street of Rage, all those, the, every single one of those Genesis Classic Collection, the yeah. M2 ones on 3DS were like Dude, so well. You better get ports off the Thunderblade What's the hell about the game? Thunderblade? Is that what? Thunderstrike. Thunderstrike? Desert, Desert Strike. Strike. There's no, Desert no, no, Jungle Strike. I Desert think, Strike. It's not one of those. That's Urban Strike. Blade. Thunderblade. Oh, okay. And then, and then, yeah, the Strike Series. Yeah, no, I the, love the Desert, series. Jungle, and the Urban. Dude, uh, Jungle Strike's one of my all-time favorites. Yeah, those are super You can, like, blow up the strike. White House. I have, yeah, I have I think that you think that list is right now. All-time list? Yeah. Thousands. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Thousands. Thousands. <laughs> Uh, Kane went into thoughts. that spaceship and he said he saw thousands. <laughs> yeah. Thousands of eggs. Ah. There's one of those things just down here. Yeah, then you can kiss all this place. goodbye. Like I said. And then that probably will be it. Like I said, gotta go into orbit. <laughs> right. Yo, what's that uh, jungle book? Aliens makes me really Fall sad. Fall guy shit happening. I want some of those skins. Might have already. I want that blue skin. Not even just the special. King Louie. What's the orangutan's name in jungle? King Louie. They can get it. Fall guys, but not Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> yeah, a jungle book world in camera. There was insane. supposed to be sick. one. In yeah. There was. Birth by sleep. Yes. Oh. There's assets people found oh, for it. It's so happening now? Shit. Reuse assets. Reuse assets. Ooh. It looks fresh. Ladies and fresh gentlemen. Fresh assets. High budget. High budget at Disney budget. Alright. We have our Early. our audio set up to deafen our competitors. Oh, right. Yeah, like, <laughs> remember that? Remember that whole thing? High octane music playing. Yeah. Well, the, the the worst part is the awkward moments when like, uh, the music isn't played for like four seconds. Is yeah. If there's like gaps there, then you can hear what I'm saying. Say something. I yeah, probably should say something. It definitely just you know. Uh, I can't. If Damiani goes full Skynet, we're all dead, Carbine. <laughs> we're all dead. How can you support They're me? Dead. Um, All right, can I go now? You could follow me at Iridium Studios on Twitter. Uh, we haven't announced our next game yet, but when we do, you'll be the first to know. Is it Mega Man? It's not Mega Man. It's Mega Man. <laughs> but. Mega Man X. Oh. Damn it, they figured it out. <laughs> Mega Man Legends 3. <laughs> no, I'm really excited about my game, though. It's, it's shaping up. It's starting to like feel like a real oh, game. Shaping now. up. Yeah. Starting to take form. It's starting to take form. It's looking pretty cool. Ben will love it. Ooh. Oh. Oh. Dude, we can the hentai games, yeah. baby. Here we go. That's what I'm talking about. What game is it improved? <laughs> uh, okay, well, first things first. Let's figure out who's going to be what. And who's going to be. It's going to be me. Blood. Pick a hand. Or Damiani, pick a hand. For sure. Alright, you play white first. Alright. Go ahead and take a seat uh, here. It's gonna be. Oh, I think you can get across. Yeah. Yeah. That's right, but ladies and gentlemen, we are here oh, for the finals of the second I mean, like inaugural Easy Allies chess tournament. 
If you didn't miss, the go through. Bad couch people have to. They have to move. All right. What? No, they're good. They're good. First contact. We. Yeah, I will not. Are here. If you missed yesterday's incredible excitement, we saw Damiani take down the reigning champ Brandon Jones, and on the. Second half of the program, we saw a comeback. Don won the first game against Blood in somewhat commanding fashion, but Blood coming back, going to Armageddon, and taking the semifinals victory. They're setting up today's finals. Two masters of the mind, two basically cyborgs, having merged with the machine, Damiani <laughs> and Blood. Uh, the format will be as following. Uh, we will have two consecutive games at 10 minutes apiece on the clock. Uh, Damiani will play white to start, Blood will play white second. If it is tied after that 1-1, one, one, we will go to a sudden death Armageddon game. Three minutes apiece. We had both matches go to Armageddon in the semifinals. No. We will see it again. Nope. No. I don't know what's happening. Yes. It's not my job. Okay. Oh, they can hear it now. It's gone. I'll be providing analysis and commentary as these <laughs> players, these titans, face off over the board. I don't know what you're listening to. Same as yesterday. Same as yesterday. It's part of the fun. Same as it ever. How are you guys feeling? Uh, How do you feel? They, is these clocks backwards? <laughs> I'm always confused about it. Which, which I mean, whatever, whatever button is up, <laughs> like to start. Like if it's up on this side, you'll you hit it and I begin. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I mean technically it's supposed to be some way, but who cares? <laughs> yeah. uh, how mean? are you guys? How are you guys feeling about this match? Blood, tell uh, me. Tell me. Are you confident going into this? Oh no. No, you're not at all. Yeah. Uh, no. It's supposed to be like friendly, but my anxiety is through the roof. Yeah. I mean, so here you're thing. in the hot seat. I think, I think the 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 comparison I can make for like me in fighting games is very, or me in chess is very similar to me in fighting games. It's like I try to pull off my moves, but I have no idea how I'm going to get anywhere with that. That's, that's just that's, that's, you have an yeah. internal strategy, and you're just hoping it, it matches to the board and what yeah. Damiani is doing. Damiani, how do you feel going into this finals match? You said you have tons of anxiety. But remember, what's the worst that could happen? Blood just lords it over you for the rest of your life. Who cares, right? Thank you. Yeah. Because, <laughs> you know, he's that type of person. The contestant should shake hands before the match. I agree. It's, that's a really good move. Yeah. <laughs> I heard that. Yeah. Uh, in a show of kindness and sportsmanship, yeah. I think you two should yeah. shake. Aren't you supposed to do that so, anyway? You're supposed to do it anyway. Okay. They do it, yeah. 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 Before that is, the match. That, is, that yeah. does no, happen in shows. Where's Jones? I'm going <laughs> to... Oh, I'm yeah, driving yeah, the front of the I don't know, maybe All right, our bets open. Oh, Everyone, be sure to get those bets in. Yeah. How are you feeling about this game? Place Ooh, your hard-earned warehogs sure. down. Yeah, if you bet in chat, that's going to be real money coming out of your account. <laughs> yes, we do have it linked to your bank accounts, yes. and we will be receiving those dollars. I think we're just about ready to get started we're here. Ready. Yeah. We're good? Yeah. Isla, we're good? good? All right, at your leisure, go ahead and hit that button, uh, close off okay, your ear holes, and go for it yeah, whenever shit. you're feeling good. <laughs> oh, God, where's my mouse? Starting off with the early Fianchetto, already forgetting to. Both players early Fianchetto, this can be dangerous. Okay, and then Yo, going out with the, the wing pawn. Yeah, <laughs> both players times. not... Look at the computer, dude. Not taking their time here. Around. They're going Tabulating. hard very quickly. And now the Fianchetto. And you like to see that. And then, the, so we've talked about Fianchetto putting it on the long diagonal, but Bloodworth not really taking that advice. Going to the slightly more awkward square, A6. You definitely want to see that on <laughs> B7 instead to help back up this knight, right? Because this bishop is currently eyeing it down. Yes, the pawn's protecting it right now, but that ties down the pawn. It can't move forward. It wants to take center control. It can't do that at this current moment. Beginning to take that time, I apologize for the computer's fan, the chess analysis engine. Uh, is rolling. Oh, and he puts the knight out. All right, so this worked like this? No, 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 no. nope. How does that work? Uh, <laughs> put the rook, first of all, put the rook back. Really okay. The queen can't be there. Okay. It, it, it would have to be out of the way. Oh. And then the king would move two over, and then the rook would come to the other side. But you can't do it right now. Your okay. time is clicking. Your time is, is running. <laughs> but a rules clarification on queenside castling, right. everybody. <laughs> but yes, that knight okay. coming out for Damiani to the rim. We've said it before, folks. Knights on the I rim. I thought I knew what I was doing. Our dim. He's yelling. He has no idea how loud he is right <laughs> now. That's why he didn't. Here I've we have done a done proper done. castle. Yeah, that's how it works. Yeah, I I seriously know. Know. Excellent. Yeah. Excellent. I love to see that early castle. I have criticized the, the Allies in the past for not 
Since I was a kid, yeah. my friend used to come over. Used to have chips Moving and salsa. Moving that queen over, like getting out of the way. Like you want to see, like you want to see some of those pawns like in front of the king and start to control the center. The center right now. The whole the whole point of the opening of chess is to control the center, and neither player seems to be even want to be bothering with that right now. The center is wide open for anyone to take it. Yes, hyper modern openings can tend to influence that from a distance, but that's not what's happening right now. It's up for grabs. Damiani in the tank right now, thinking about. You can tell the computer right now recommending immediately just pushing into the center. Uh, it does give him a slight advantage of plus 1.2, but we'll see how this advance is still near equality at this time. And he, okay, we have a slight pawn move up to c3, not awful. The computer seemed to be having a few connection problems. There we go. And then a quick pawn strike out to the center. I do like that. I just hiccuped. I apologize. Hiccups are a thing that happened to everybody. Plus 2.8, plus 3 right now. Theoretically opening up this rook to attack along the dark diagonal here. Unfortunately, this bishop and the queen not really able to get out uh, and focus down that diagonal, which is pretty awkward. That's a decent move. Could have brought it farther to the center, but at least it's getting out there and opening things up for the white bishop. And then solidifying the pawn chain on the other side very quickly is blood blood. Probably has a time advantage at this current point in time. I cannot see the clock, so I am going to be relying. Uh, yes, yeah, so about a minute advantage right now. Uh, for blood that is going to come into play, I promise. I promise. Currently Damiani's turn, is starting to go down on time even further. He has castled, but he needs to develop the, his other minor pieces over here. They have to get into the game. The knight is going to want to go to d2. The bishop should come out first, though, because if you do the knight first, then the bishop will be blocked in. So the All right, that's exactly what I just said. He's like, he can hear me. I hope he can't, though. That would be bad. All right, bringing out the bishop. Plus 1.6 right now for white, maintaining a steady edge, but it is still anyone's game. And remember, that time is going to come down to the wire. It has in basically every other game so far. Great development move there for Blood. And again, quick. Blood is not wasting time. Blood is making the moves. Yes, and was, uh, the blue arrow on the screen is what the AI currently believes is the best move available. It will change as the analysis engine cranks a little bit more. But anything you see on the blue arrow will be deemed computer accurate. So if a player makes a move, I'm going to call it computer accurate if they're able to match that blue arrow. Anything in green is something I'm drawing on the screen to illustrate certain concepts. Damiani still going farther and farther down on the clock. Now that is another great development move like I talked about, bringing the knight into the game. And then on the other side, again, a super fast move. Blood is thinking on his opponent's time, which is the best way to maintain that edge. Damiani's having to think and react. In the meantime, Blood is planning out his moves in advance. Fantastic stuff. That said, White's position right now is still reading as notably better. Oh, he can hear me? Yeah, we're uh, oh, There it goes. Okay, we're back. The sound does have a few gaps between songs. So we're plus 2.5 for Damiani, but again, I think he's falling farther and farther behind. He has to recognize that. He has to make quicker moves. If they can see me snapping from the corner of their eyes, that should probably be an indication that they should move faster. But sometimes you're deep in it. You don't even know. You don't even sense that. 839, 627. 627. I mean, listen, this time it goes fast. Anyone that's been up there knows that that clock slips away like it's nothing. Damiani's still trying to figure out a positional advantage, trying to figure out how to advance. He could do a pawn break on the E file right now. Uh, it could be backed up by the rook, which is what the computer's recommending right now. Really anything at this point doesn't matter. He's just got to move, but he's not doing it. <laughs> <laughs> that's okay. I mean, look. Things can come down to a scramble, but going down 0-1 in this game, playing as white, would be tough. <laughs> Damiani has high ping, says Kier92, yes. <laughs> no one has sunglasses that are currently preventing them from reading the clock. Damiani does he know now, it's his move? Uh, he does, I okay. think, right? He oh, has to. There he goes, there he goes. He's bringing the, he's bringing the bishop over. <laughs> he's, he's still thinking about it, and he finally makes the move. I think he spent over a minute and 20 seconds on that. Down to now 536. That does work. That is okay. legal. You're allowed to do it. He does castle. Now, that said, you don't necessarily want to castle in the direction where your pawns have already been advanced. Your pawns act as a shield. You get your king behind safety. Right now, there's still a lot of gaps here. Uh, if this queen can come to a dark square and start pressuring this from two directions, that would be very, very effective. Uh, probably a little better would have been to go to the other direction, but the queen's in an awkward place as well. Just moving the bishop kind of over and over here, not developing the pieces, his advantage has slipped down to 1.4, but it was a quick move. We love to see that, trying to put blood on his back foot. The rook being immediately attacked, it's not a huge deal. It'll just slide over, assuming blood sees it, which he may not. Sometimes that happens. Chess is not easy. 
He does see it. He sees it immediately. Shifting it over to a more active file, the E file, but look, another fast move here, starting to pressure the opponent, bringing the knight into range of attacking, but that was apparently a huge mistake. I don't immediately... Okay, so the knight, <laughs> the knight coming to the square creates a revealed attack against this knight. If we follow the line here, it looks like G4. You can follow along on the screen. Then the knight's trying to come in. The king will take it, so it's actually sacrificing the knight there is best. I have a hand on my shoulder. It feels very intimate. What Thank you. What is a revealed attack? A discovered attack, basically. So right now, yeah. this bishop, it's called an x-ray, through the knight, it's attacking it indirectly. So if this knight hops out of the way, yeah. all of a sudden, this is going to be eyeing down that he knight. He did it. Oh, wow. That was, that's computer accurate, folks. Look at that move. Computer you, accurate. you love to see that. 733.5. Right now, Damiani is in trouble. Not only down, but now down positionally as well. What is the threat here? The threat rising. Oh, I don't think he's going to go in and jump to take that pawn. He's not even. He's not going to make the computer accurate move here. It's very, very difficult to see. There's really nothing to do for it. Where do you bring it? Huber is absolutely spellbound. I can tell behind me. There's a sense. There's a feeling. Yeah, I, yeah. Gripped. <laughs> Gripped. Hypnotized. So he tries to counterattack the knight. I, oh, now, oh. Minus 7.5, the computer now saying that blood has a huge advantage. Why? Because there is a free bishop. Okay. But he doesn't see it. It was creating two attacks at once, but instead he moves the knight. He's ignoring. There's two pieces under threat right now, and now with that one mistake, theoretically Damiani back in it, just taking the knight, and he does computer accurate. Computer accurate. Computer accurate. <laughs> Look the hell out. <laughs> He's going to recapture with the pawn, but there's still so much to take. Now, the knight being gone can't take the bishop. So what do you do? Blood now in trouble. He brings in that's computer accurate. Look out. But now look out. There's a revealed attack against the rook in the corner. That's Those long bishop moves are so hard to see. All the way across the board. Long range sniper. I mean, it's hard. That's It's, it's easy for us to see. But when you're in the it's limelight, computer it's computer accurate. <laughs> Looking to bring the rook. He doesn't see the bishop move just now. But he's only plus 1.2 if he can enact that move. If he doesn't see it, blood's going to be back in the advantage. The rook coming up. It's a good rook lift. It's not bad. But all of a sudden, we're minus 1.6. It's recommending that we just take that bishop over there. But it's a backwards knight move, which famously in chess, backwards knight moves are considered some of the hardest moves to see. Even grandmasters do occasionally miss them. Wow. Really? Yeah, backwards knight moves very, very difficult, but the bishop threat's still there. Computer actually recommending taking the knight wow. to open up the C file right now. A massive theoretical advantage for white if he sees it correctly, but he's got to find these moves. Do find him. See the code. <laughs> See. Yeah, so opening up this file, right? Rook takes, pawn takes, and then swinging the queen over to the open F file, really putting pressure on this square and all around the enemy king. It's going to be pretty devastating. Also remember, this threat still active on the board. Very, very hard to see, but Damiani has to find one of these two moves to maintain his edge. Looks like he's just developing his knight. I don't hate it, but I don't love it. <laughs> the, the bar is swinging wildly back and forth. He goes forward with the knight. Wait, what, what in the world? What in the world is that? Why would you do that? The king can just take the knight. What was the purpose of that move? I don't understand. All of a sudden, we're plus 9.5. Damiani thinking right now, what was the purpose of that? He thinks it's a trap. It has to be a trap, right? Why would anyone do that? Scratching his beard. What's the time situation, Isla? Uh, 6.42, Damiani way behind in time. Under half the time remaining for Blood. Blood playing that quick, cold, ruthless game. Putting incredible pressure, even though that move was almost nonsensical, forcing Damiani to think about it right here for 30 seconds might not be the worst move in the world. It looks like he's afraid of taking it. It was a time move. It was a time move. I'd call it a, a chess move, <laughs> which it was. Never mind. He does. Oh, he just moves the queen away. You can just tell Malware Bites to go away. I, oh, yeah. Sorry. All right, the computer just recommended getting the knight out of there, back to its original square, because there was very little purpose in doing so, <coughs> but I guess Damiani didn't see it, was confused, was scattered by the theoretical attack on the queen, just moved the queen out of the way. Not doing a whole lot on that square. It's only plus 3.2 right now for Damiani, but the time is going to be the factor, really starting to gain space. Plus 9.3, he can just take the knight now. 
I think he's just not aware of the time situation. At least that was a quick move. Decent. It's a free pawn. But a free knight is better than a free pawn. A free knight is better than a free pawn. The computer's still recommending that knight. The knight's just sitting there. The knight and the king, yeah. it's, the knight and the king have formed a, like, a relationship. It's, it's like Romeo, Romeo and Juliet. Juliet. It's Romeo and Juliet over there. It's yes. Romeo and Juliet. <laughs> Advancing the queen. They're, they're just down there. The computer, every single move is going to recommend either taking the knight or moving the knight. And they're oblivious. They have no idea what's going on. <laughs> Every single move. They're just forgetting about it. Nope, they have no interest. They're just, they're hanging out. They're friends. <laughs> they're, they're like, hey, how are you? Oh, what's up, dude? <laughs> the knight oh. advancing forward hits the clock. I think Damiani's starting to see he's low on time, but he has got to go faster. The knight, again, <laughs> sitting there. <laughs> just, they're just... I mean, you could even take it with the rook. You could take it with anything, <laughs> and literally Get anything. Get off the board. <laughs> Doesn't matter. Blood has that extra time, using it to think, using it to figure out what to do. <laughs> Only 143 for Damiani. He's going to have to play like a Tasmanian devil to come out of this one. Blood using that time right now, you never know. Anything can happen in chess. That's the magic. Anything can happen. Remember, this is just game one. This is not it. If one of these competitors lose, they will have game two to try and make up that lost ground and send it to Armageddon, which is what we all really want. Let's be real. Looking, moving that queen, taking the knight, but that... Oh, wait. Oh, he backs it up. The knights are defending each other. That would have been a huge blunder. He saw it at the last second. Blood rethinking that decision. Kroldemort, shout out for the tier one gift subs. Looks like ten of them. Thanks, Jason. Shout out, buddy. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Kroldemort wants the net gone. <laughs> this is Ten's blood. Now starting, what's blood's time at, Isla? 5.35. Still so much time on that Sorry, clock. 4.35. 4.35. Okay, it's starting to get down there. Damiani right now, hopefully using that time to figure out a variety of potential counter moves to whatever blood does because he has so much time right now to think. If he can just whip out an immediate move and counter to this, putting the pressure on blood, never know what can happen. Finally, tr swinging the rook over, and I, like I just said, boom. Boom. Computer accurate. Computer accurate. Damiani starting to think on his opponent's time. That's what he's got to do to get back in this match. Blood all of a sudden, look out. There is a potential discovered attack on that king. Right now, it would probably be best to move the king into the corner. You can move this knight, let's say, uh, here. You'll have to deal with the check against the king, and then you'll pick up the rook on the next move. There's a lot of potential danger right now for Blood if he doesn't see this tactic. Plus 16 reading right now for Damiani, but does he have the time to pull it off? Stay tuned. Like you're going anywhere, please. This is crazy. Right now, the computer recommending a weird counterattack against the queen. Even th I mean, the, the rook is backing that up, and the bishop's backing that up, so I guess that makes sense. There's a whole bunch of attacking forces on that square as well for white. So it's a pretty crazy move. I probably wouldn't play that. That's a computer move. If you're a, cy you're a cyborg, if you play that. <laughs> no. Oh, I thought he was doing it. I thought he was doing it. I, I was going to freak out. All right, like I, like I recommended just a second ago, moving the knight out, which is a discovered attack on the black king, is going to win something, either that rook or maybe it's even better to take the bishop in this case. But it's going to help technically mate in nine right now somehow for Damiani. Let's see what he does. Oh, he brings the knight to the other direction, which is a check, but it doesn't necessarily accomplish too much. That said, mate in eight now. Will he pull that off? That would be the wildest thing that has ever happened in the history of the human race. <laughs> <laughs> That's it's coming back. He's coming back. Come back of the century on the freaking table right now, folks. He can pick up the rook, but will he? The knight right now probably does not want to move here because that's another discovered attack potentially from the other bishop. These two bishops slicing across the position right now. Can't do that. Can't, can't, do, do, that. That. can't oh. do that. Can't do that. Illegal move. DQ, DQ. You're in D check, blood. You're in check. Yeah. So yeah. Yep. Oh. Yeah, it's check. It's check. Technically, the rules of chess do not, like, it's traditional to say check when you check someone, but you do not have to. That is not part of the game of chess. You have to recognize that you're in check from the opponent. He does shift it into the co corner, computer accurate, but now all of White's pieces are converging on the position. This is called a royal fork. It's the rarest fork in chess. That knight comes in, it's going to be hitting both the king 
and the queen to pick it up. The royal fork. Can, does he see it? He's got to move quick. Will he be computer accurate on this one? Oh, doesn't look like he is. It's looking like he's going to move the bishop. But he's got to move quick. Whatever he does, he's running out of time. I want to see it so bad. He has to. Oh, my God. I want to see it. He sees it. Royal fork. <laughs> Royal fork. Royal fork. Technically made in seven. What's the time situation, Isla? 2.15 to 48 seconds. He's within a minute 30, everyone. Look out. This is incredibly dangerous for blood. Will we see an unbelievable machine-like comeback from Damiani? I mean, this. I mean, he's, he has to move into a discovered check. That's the beauty about this. His only move once the queen is taken again. That bishop's going to be sending it into check. He knows that's his only move. He should have probably made it quicker. And now taking the queen, completing the royal fork. It's really the only move, cash Damiani. You've got to see it. Cash in. Cash. In on cash the in on the royal fork, but he's got to do it quickly. He only has 36 seconds. Damiani, go. Go, go, go. No, he doesn't even know what to do. He doesn't know what to do. He moves the pawn up. He could have just taken it. All of a sudden, blood offered counterplay. Blood can retreat the queen, try and get some defense going. He does. He breaks the queen all the way down, taking the pawn. Damiani's got to go. Damiani's got to go. He's got to go. What has he got? He can take the he can take the knight with the pawn. He can oh he, okay he takes that with the rook threatening the queen. That's not bad. The knight's finally gone. Knight's finally gone. It's been there. They've been hanging out for the the king. <laughs> the white king is now aggrieved. The white king's like, why would you do that to my best friend? We had a thing going. We had a relationship, and I hate you. <laughs> How much time left for Damiani? Uh, one twenty to twenty. 20 seconds against one twenty. The time is ticking for blood. He decides to take the rook. And of course, the counter take. Of course, of course, of course. A very fast move there from Damiani. He's hanging in there by the skin of his teeth. Still a massive discovered potential attack against the Black King if this knight just hops out of the way basically anywhere. Moving it here will win the enemy rook, which is why the computer is recommending the rook slide over. The time, second by second, is equalizing blood, running out of those precious seconds. Under a minute now. Pawn moves up. Damiani very quickly moving over. You love to see that, putting pressure on the Black Rook. He's going to have to respond, but he takes it. Doesn't matter. Quick moves is their way to go. The knight moving over, taking that rook. Don't mess around with Damiani. It's not over yet, but all of a sudden, sliding over, taking that. He's getting ready, taking the rook back. Look at these quick moves from Damiani. Check. He calls it out, even though probably blood can't hear. It doesn't matter. <laughs> Trying to intimidate the opponent. Moving the king over. Seconds left for these players, bringing the queen in. That was... 32-10. That would have... Would that have been checkmate? I couldn't check... It might have been checkmate if he had moved it all the way down. Only seconds left for these character characters for these, for these players. <laughs> I'm losing my mind over here. What's blood at? Twenty. Twenty seconds. Twenty to five. Five seconds, bringing the oh, forcing a response to the check. He oh takes it. Goodness. Scant seconds remain. Forcing that going down, forcing a check. King moving up. That's computer accurate. Queen over. Oh! Wow. Dude. What a match! Boy, what a match! Crap. Wait, I gotta go back. Was there a mate in one a few moves ago? There was Damn. a mate in one. I thought that I saw it. Oh. There was a mate in one for you. Oh. For you. I didn't see if you oh. could see the queen here. The time. At this point, the queen coming in, the knight would have supported it. That would have been oh. made in one. But there was no time. Damn, you, were, you had so seconds time. left. Yeah. Oh, time. Oh, time. Yeah. Vassal, yeah. shout out for the tier one gift on subs. Run. Thank you so much. Man. That was just game one, folks. Wow. That was just Woo. Look at them getting up. Look at how one. exhausted they're they are. Exhausted. Look at that. They're, they're exhausted. That. Physical endurance. Dude, they yeah. just needed to get uh, up yeah, and we'll take a breath. Yeah, so Damien's got to Holy crap. How much time How much time did Blood have? Really. Five seconds oh, remaining oh on the clock. Yeah. Damiani at one point was down play. three and a half <laughs> minutes, clawed all the way back. I'm nervous. I'm, I'm freaking out. That was <laughs> out of control. Uh, Dude, now I'm going to remove this other side. You can. Dude, Damiani is, like, doing the royal fork and then not finishing the royal oh, fork. Oh, you had a royal fork. The swing. I don't know what it was. I don't know enough. Dude, the best moment. I want to see the fork. I, wanna, I wanted to see it so bad. And then it happened and it didn't yeah. get executed. It was epic. Well, actually, no, the right? best moment was when Jason was like, he just needs to move. He's not <laughs> doing it. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> any move. Is that good, Jason? At all. Uh, yeah, yeah. Oh my goodness, Sorry, folks. You good? Yeah. Uh, oh. We could do like a. That was so epic. An electronic like YouTube playlist so the music doesn't. Oh no 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 it's not. Uh, I'm doing this because it's royalty free. That's right. I just reset it to the top. Okay yeah. Yeah. Um, bets are open for the second match. Now, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let them get their bets in. Yeah, yeah. let them get their bets in. In yeah. the meantime, uh, how did you feel about the game? You were, you were winning positionally, but you were on the back foot on time. figure out a way to finish it. Yeah. Like, because I don't right. know enough. Yeah. So I was like, if I keep making these safe two, moves, like, eventually it's going to reveal itself. And it like, you're one. Oh, there it is. Yeah. Right time ran out. I was like, oh, I, if I had like one more minute, I could figure this out. Yeah, now but, you making those quick moves because you started to realize you were down on time was forcing him to, to burn him minutes. Exactly. Him Which him is the right strategy when you're on that. Blood, how did you feel that game? Um, I felt like I had a good defense, but I didn't have any clue how to get forward. Basically. You were really yeah. stuck over in this corner. There was some, there was a lot of danger going on there, mm. but you managed to navigate your way through it and maintain that slight, slight, slight edge on the clock left with five seconds as the game ended. We have had multiple games come down to single digit seconds on both sides. Wow. Multiple games. Now, just to recap here, Damiana, you must outright win this game to send it to Armageddon. If you do, we will have a blitz three minute apiece match of utter and absolute chaos. Folks, we all kind of want Armageddon, but if, <laughs> no. Blood, if Blood, no, you don't, they don't want it. It's incredibly no. stressful. Damiani, do not throw the match. I will not. <laughs> three minute one with Jones is like. It's crazy. wild. It's oh, wild. Lord. Everyone's played it now. Okay. Are we all right, Isla? Everything's good, yeah. Headphones on, gentlemen. Yeah, you all right. Let's lock them in. All right, you can go ahead and make your move and hit your button whenever you are ready. All right, we're opening up. There's a lot of this luck, opening. Yeah, good luck. Good G, a lot of G3 openings. And again, Counter Fee and Kettowing on the other side actually mirroring each other's game from the first time. Sweet. We actually, the first three moves are identical, Going but now forward. we have differentiation over here playing a relatively strange C6 defense. And he immediately strikes, wow. taking the Rook instant strike from Blood. In that's mental damage. That's mental, that's mental, that's mental damage. Yeah. There were three moves into the game. Yeah. That that's mental. That's, that was a Fian Kettowing Bishop. Now, moving that pawn up to try and trap the bishop in to later pick it up. Knight. I like yeah. that. Yeah, knight's up. Now the knight again on They've the rim. They've got the bishop cornered in the barn. Look at the speed with which blood and the confidence. He knows he's up. He's starting to roll. He's feeling good about it. He's making fast moves, a quick castle. Now, I will say, castling kingside when you're... Uh, the the fianchetto bishop actually acts as a fantastic defensive piece in this position. This currently is a bit of a hole. And remember, black currently has their light squared bishop, so they could converge on that square, the queen, and the light squared bishop. Sorry. Already starting to converge on that position, but you never want to move the same minor piece twice in the opening. It's kind of a basic opening principle. Damiani didn't need to move his knight there, but that's actually a bit of a mistake from blood. You, you're loosening the pawns around the king. We've talked about that. You want them to form a shield wall. One, two, three. Shield wall? Here the knight is going to have to retreat, but there's been some structural damage to blood's position, despite the fact that he's clearly up in material early in the game. This knight does have to come back. The computer's recommending it back to the rim. This is a dangerous move because this knight could capture it and then double the pawn structure and kind of ruin things on that side, which is why the computer is asking to bring it to the rim. I suspect that he will do so, and he did computer accurate. <laughs> it's computer accurate, it's like, it's folks. It's like a sound effect. Computer accurate. Computer <laughs> accurate. Try, looking to Fianchetto, the other bishop over here. I don't love that as much because this pawn structure over here is going to blunt the impact of that Fianchetto bishop. I would have liked to see this pawn come out to the center. For the second game in a row, both players not really vying for the center. But as soon as I say that, one vies for the center. <laughs> 826, 926. It's already a minute down. Damiani always in time trouble here. Quick moves, though. You can see here getting that bishop out immediately to c5. I do like that move very much. However, white still with a commanding lead, plus 7 right now. Also challenging in the center. I like to see that. A quick e4 advance and a castle over there. That was computer accurate. <laughs> Fighting for more center control. The computer's recommending that. It's hard to see. I like that move. Sliding the rook over to a more active file. That is good stuff. Plus 5.8 now for blood. But again, the biggest advantage is the lead on time. Damiani, despite his best efforts, falling behind early again on the clock. He's going to have to once again crawl his way out of this hole. 803-903. 803 to 903 is one minute up. Bit of a pawn break there. I don't love it. It's basically 
like you know the, the rook can recapture that but it's weakening this pawn which the knight can hit as well bit of a mistake there but will blood pounce <laughs> like a kitty cat onto that mistake blood now taking some time to think perhaps he's put on his back foot by that relatively strange move that also opens up some potential avenues of attack on the king along the light square diagonals which is a little dangerous However, this attacking piece cannot currently get out, so it's not as bad as it could be. Bringing in, coming in, sweeping through, taking that pawn, plus 6.4. Computer recommending taking this now. The rook can recapture. It kind of gets a free lift for that, but it's better than otherwise your position completely collapsing on the king side. Best for black to simply take that pawn. And he does. Not bad. White, interestingly, not recommending the immediate recapture, but I'm sure it would be taken shortly. Plus 7.2 now for Blood. Bringing that knight a little premature, I would say, and he puts it right into the crossfire of the queen, but he doesn't see it. The bishop now coming over and uh, oh, forking the king and the rook. All of a sudden, Damiani's minus 4.3. <laughs> Three quick moves, and the entire game has flipped. The king can't take it. It's backed up by the rook. He's trying to figure out what to do. He moves it up. That's also potentially dangerous. Now, instead of immediately snap taking the rook, the computer's recommending the queen taking the knight that was blundered onto the square at c5. A myriad of opportunities here for Damiani to equalize. Minus eight right now. He could do that, yes. And he does see the queen take. He does see it. All of a sudden, computer accurate Damiani now oh, starting shit. to crush Bloodworth's position. And if, if I'm not mistaken, he's also starting to catch up on time. 720. Yep, he's starting to catch there up. The bishop comes over and takes that knight. However, the rook down here is still dangerous. The computer interestingly recommending trapping the bishop. Actually, I'll be honest, I don't fully understand that move. <laughs> then the queen, wait, oh my goodness. But the bishop, does he see the backwards bishop move? He didn't see that the bishop from across the board could retreat and take the queen, but he doesn't see it. He moves it into the corner, and it's made in six. Oh, he doesn't see that. He takes the rook. Look out, but there's still massive potential. If he doesn't bring that bishop back to take the queen... Oh, my oh. goodness! He takes the queen! Oh. It's made in two for Damiani! It's made in two. Can he find it? It's que it's it's queenie two check, and then F1 mate. We can see it over Damiani here. Damiani with the power stance. Look at him. Look at him. You yeah. can see him. You yeah. can see him. Oh. I think he's complaining, but he doesn't realize he has mate. The rook takes immediately. Oh God! The uh, oh wait, what happened? Wait, wait, wait. This this was checked. This had to be addressed. He, yeah, he couldn't have done that anyway. He couldn't yeah. have done that. Wait, wait. Yeah. Back it up. Back it up. Put the you right here. You have to yeah. move. Yeah, you have to move this. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> there some illegal moves happening. The rook coming down. Wait, that's not mate. That's not mate. No, I'm trying to. Okay. But put the, put those headphones on. <laughs> We're not done. That was not technically the correct to move, but it's still what made in happening? made in two. What is that? He only has one available move. When you only have one available move, you gotta just do it. There's no reason to think about it. You just do the move because you're wasting time thinking when you don't need to waste time thinking. Just make the move. It's still technically made in two. You have oh. <laughs> <laughs> he never hit the button. Theoretically, he could have just sat there and pretended to be thinking for five oh. minutes, and then Damiani would have run out of time. <laughs> Would have been a cold-hearted move. That would have been cold-hearted. Yeah. <laughs> no, don't move the queen up. The pawn could take it. Be very careful, Damiani. Don't move that queen to... Okay, okay. That's not bad. It's still made in two. In fact, he can... He's just chasing him. He's just chasing him, but he has a real opportunity here to finish the game. He cannot move the queen like he would want to to g4, but he can move the knight. Will he see it? Computer accurate. Will he see the knight move? He moves the pawn up by two. That's not technically the best move. He's just chasing the white king around. Can he deliver this checkmate? This is called a king march, where the king is just moving all over the place. He's got to be careful. His black knight is going to be captured here by the white king. It's not over. You have to be careful about this. Anything can happen. Don't forget that white bishop over on b8. This thing could slice in. If, if, you know, if we forget about that, it's so easy to forget. 554, 627. That's, that's a computer accurate move, folks. <laughs> wow. Still mate in two for Damiani. Will he see it? He's got plenty of time on the clock. This is extremely tense. God, I am. Losing my I mind. Can't. I'm relaxed. 
<laughs> Ben's chill. Here we go. The bishop trying to come to the center of the board to hope, hopefully help defend. Technically, it's still going to be made in two no matter what he does. He does move the bishop. Now, this is a very difficult move to see. Going queen d1. That's going to be very, very hard. Remember, you cannot move the queen here because the pawn is protecting it. This is a very... Damiani's sitting there right now thinking he, there's a mate somewhere. He just needs to find it. He's trying to finish this game. But this is a difficult move to see. He does, he does just take the bishop. It's not bad. That's okay. Really, black is holding all the cards here. Even if it weren't made in three, it would probably be minus 20. Did he do what? Damiani just reacted like he saw something. The king moves up all of a sudden. It, all the queen all the queen has to do is come over here. That will be mate. That's all the queen has to do is get over to the h4 square. That'll work too. Oh, now he can take the pawn, yeah. It's a little bit messy, but th when these pawns are cleared out, it becomes even easier to find mate. You can use the basic ladder checkmate technique, which I'll explain perhaps later. It's just kind of like <laughs> stair-stepping down the board, preventing them from moving. Looks like the pawn moving up. That was my go-to as a child. It's very effective. <laughs> it, it, it happens on the Grandmaster level. What will we do? He does take the pawn. Mate in one, everybody. Moving the queen here will be checkmate if he wins once he takes the pawn. It's actually have several checkmates. He does take it. It is mate in one. The pawn push will do it. The queen technically won't be checkmate, actually, because of that escape square, but it will be sh very shortly after checkmate. Will he find this mate in one? The pawn push is a very cool mate. Looks like he doesn't see it. That is a difficult one to find, even for mate in one. The knight comes in. That is checkmate, everybody. Mm. That's checkmate. Wow, wow dude. Fucking wow. The this knight one, chased like, the king down. That's also checkmate. That's also oh, was? Okay. Yeah, that's also checkmate. Oh my oh, god. That would also Holy shit. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, you know what that means. <laughs> oh. Armageddon. Armageddon. Three minutes. Three minutes. Dude, is there any well, popcorn in the back? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's all we're missing. That was our first checkmate of actually the entire tournament. That it, it had always come down to the time. First, the first two, I think, were, were mates. Did we have mates in the in, so. in the semifinals? Um, I don't think I, so. Yesterday, I the first retired two against games, Jones, and Jones retired they against retired. mates. Oh, that's that's a res yeah, resignation. It's yeah, not yeah, a checkmate. Yeah, yeah. So not a mate, but they they didn't all come down to time. Yeah. Wow, Damiani. Whoa. There was a point in the game, it was very hard to see, where your queen was like here. Yeah. Someone got paid And his chat. bishop could have Big. come all oh, the way yeah. back to like take it. It's so hard to see that. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, People got paid. I, risked one, I, I don't know if it was that, but like I was willing to give up the queen at one point just to like. Yeah, to put just pressure over there. I love yeah. our warehouse betting, dude. I felt like into the point I needed to punish him when I was up there and I took all his like, <laughs> I think I gotta hit him now. Okay, yeah, and you did, and you Cold did. Cold hard cash. Extremely effective. Like, like imagine like, somebody like losing. Uh, we're going to <laughs> we have to do another random. <laughs> so on a chess match, dude. Well, it's so random. <laughs> Between Tommyani and Blood. Uh, you should leave it. You should leave Holy the pieces where crap. they are. Uh, dummy, or you picked before blood. Yo, PayPal me. Uh, <laughs> all right, you're gonna be playing white <laughs> pieces. No need to move. Well, the king and queen on the same side. Oh. They, that's correct. Oh. No, 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 no. Oh, that was correct. Okay. They're both right. They're both right. Their uh, the queens, uh, gotcha. the queens oppose each other. Oh, okay. All right. This is for all of the marbles, folks. Wow. This is the final match of the tournament. Let no them get what. their bets in. Let yeah, them get their bets, bets in. In, in the meantime, I'm just gonna explain this again for anyone who missed it yesterday. Armageddon is a three minute a piece match, which I'm gonna have to set in just a second. Um, gift subs. Gift subs. Shout out. Jabba Wabs. Jabba Wabs. Who knows? But shout regardless, out. shout out to you. Um, three minutes apiece. Because white is generally considered to have an advantage in chess, uh, a draw or a stalemate will go to Damiani, the, the black side player. Um, but that's, it's, it's going it's to be time. Well, no matter what you're thinking, gentlemen, move fast. Move extremely fast. This game will be chaos, but it will also determine our final victor the chess tournament here at Easy Chillin'. Let me reset this clock. I have a quick question. Is it, uh, 
the three minutes, is that like a normal tournament thing for like a sudden death round? Uh, they... Real Armageddon, yeah. I think, is actually five minutes, four minutes, but it depends yeah. on the format. You know, there's bullet tournaments, there's blitz tournaments, cool, there's cool, classical cool. tournaments. Is there so... bullet time chess? There is bullet time <laughs> chess. Bullet is one minute, and then there's hyper bullet, which is 30 is there seconds. Which, is which time above Which that? time chess? <laughs> yes, of course. Which time which chess? Time? Both players need to go into slow motion, and they yeah. each have three seconds. <laughs> but, but all moves are taken simultaneously. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, is the music still playing? Yeah. Yep. How All did right. you hear that? What? He, is, he's, he, has he has it off, off right off. now. Uh, we have just a few more seconds. <laughs> My ears! Uh, real quick, the, let's remember the uh, clock hand rule. Remember, you must yeah. move and then hit the clock with that hand. With the hand you move with it with? With the hand you okay. move Same it with. So don't, gotcha. don't double hand, hand it. Gotcha. Gotcha. You. Yeah. Okay, yeah. sorry. You also, can't... if you capture a piece, you must remove that piece from the board. We had that problem oh, yeah. yesterday. That, that was, you must that remove the pe captured yeah. piece from to the board. To make it easy, just hit the clock with the piece. Yeah, that's, yeah that's, that's how I typically do it. And also, it feels really cool. You're just like, bam. Okay. Bets are closed. 2.2 million Werehogs oh are on the line on this match. No pressure, guys. <laughs> No pressure. Warehouse are dollars. 2.2 million dollars are on the line. Are we ready? Holy shit. All right. Headphones on. Uh, let me refresh this page. You're good to go. I'm going to try and keep track of this as best I can. Who's starting with a wing pawn move. Super weird. Not advised, but hey, who knows? Anything to put Damiani off of his game is going to be useful. He's trying to fianchetto his queenside bishop. The rook immediately coming up, playing extremely strangely, getting that fianchetto. The rook swinging over right now to what appears to be the E file. This is not generally advisable. You see it from beginners a lot. They want to get that rook out there. Damiani already wasting precious, precious yeah. time. He's got to pick something. He develops the rook. Not a bad move at all. Over here, we're trying to create a pawn chain. Not bad. B3. Not a decent, not a bad pawn push at all. It's all about speed. Damiani needs to move fast. He's already moving this twice in the opening. It's going to get kicked away probably pretty easily. The computer recommending bishop to B2, which is computer accurate, played by blood, forcing this knight to retreat. He sees it. He's got to retreat. He's bringing it back. No problem. These players are moving fast, but they're going to have to move faster if they want to take the cup. Great development move there to C3. Knight C3 from blood over here, countering, both moving the bishop out to kind of a strange square. I don't love that. You want to see the kingside pieces get developed over here. Moving... <laughs> The pawn up, trying to feed Keto the kingside bishop over there. A quick pawn push over uh, on f6. I like to see that. Looking for the Fianchetto as well. Look out. Uh, that is defended, but only by a pawn. You could ruin the pawn structure. Damiani struggling, trying to get something knight out. That was actually somehow computer accurate, and I don't even understand how, but it was amazing. He must be jacked in to the Matrix. Over here, Blood taking a few seconds to think. I'm trying to try and track this game as best I can on the computer. If I lose track, I'm going to lose the board. Oh, quick move. Rook coming over to the B file. Not super sure why, but hey, it's a move. Speed is everything in this game. Looking to have the knight coming to the center of the board, not bad at all in front of the rook. Kind of blocking it. Computer recommending just kicking that away with a quick push of the D-pawn. Will Damiani see it? Still pretty even on time right now. Moving the pawn up, trying to create a more flexible structure. I like to see that. I'd love to see a kingside castle. I don't love this bishop move that the computer's recommending, but I'm not as smart as the computer, so clearly it must be better. Moving that pawn up, Damiani not, not wasting any time, kicking that knight away, making quick moves, forcing blood to think. I, would sus I suspect that Damiani's ahead on time. Uh, 207, uh, so yes, that's true. And he, that was a computer accurate move. Look the hell out. But the wait, oh wait, I, that was not the correct. Uh, up, yep. Yeah, yeah. And now pawn takes. That was a quick move, probably done in desperation, but a mistake. All of a sudden, minus 4.8. The computer is reading Damiani with an advantage. This queen coming over, taking that, but it's protected by the queen. Damiani sees that immediately. Does a weird two-handed thing that isn't super quite kosher, but we're not going to call him on it. It's fine. <laughs> Damiani now taking a commanding minus 9.5 lead, <laughs> somehow ahead on the clock despite being behind the past two games. Damiani has a handle on this situation right now. Massive time advantage, blood on his back foot, trying to figure out what to do right now. Computer recommending kingside castling. It looks like he's going to move the rook. He takes it back. He's indecisive right now. Mental damage has been done. Damiani, mm -hmm. a cold-hearted killer, finally swings the rook over to the e-file. Very quick response move, moving the knight into the enemy position over knight b4. Not a bad move, threatening the rook. The rook's going to have to move again. Brings it up, but that's... The king can just take that, and he does. Damiani, a cold-hearted killer, no problem. He was friends with the knight, but he's not friends with the rook. Damiani showing no mercy right now. Computer not accurate move. It, it wanted him to move it to d4. Instead, he moves it to d3. That allows the knight to infiltrate the position, creating a check, either forcing a queen trade or 
removing Castling, and that's computer accurate. Damiani absolutely shredding the opposition right now. Castling privileges are gone on the king side. Look at these moves. Computer accurate again. This is unbelievable. <laughs> I'm losing my straight mind right now. Blood knows this is chaos. It appears that Damiani has summoned a spirit of a chess genius long past. The, the king trying to move into the corner. Damiani's time lead advancing even further. Under a minute now for blood, I assume is what Isla just said. 136.43. Um, 136.43, Damiani commanding, but now taking some time to think he's looking how to press that advantage. Over here, the knight coming into the game, moving over to G4, looking for a pawn kick, the rec computer recommending H3, uh, which is played, computer accurate. Don't count blood out just yet. You never know what can happen. Going to have to retreat that knight, rec uh, recommending back knight F6 but just making a quick move, Damiani. Don't lose that time advantage that you have fought tooth and nail for. Make that move. Oh, he's not He's not getting the knight out of the way. He moves it over here. I don't love that move. The knight is going to be taken. Blood doesn't miss that opportunity. Gets it back. Damiani might be reeling a little bit from that mistake. He's still got a time advantage, but he's got to press it. Moves the rook over to the G file. I like that, potentially putting pressure on that, but it does allow White's rook to get into the action with check. I don't know if Blood will see it, but he's down at under 30 seconds now. Moving the knight's head. indecisive. He's got to do something. He's got to do something. Just pushes the A-pawn. Not bad. Isla, how much time for Blood? 19. 19 seconds. Look out. Damiani looking like it's going to be a comeback. The pawn, he's, Blood is too calm. His calmness is now a, a fatal mistake. <laughs> Only seconds left. He's pushing the pawn. He's pushing the pawn, threatening the black bishop. Only 10 seconds left for Blood. Damiani just needs to make quick moves, and there's no way he can lose it, but Damiani looking confused, trying to figure out. He's doing some weird two-handed shit. I don't love that, but we're not going to call him on it. <laughs> Knight takes, queen takes. Blood doesn't have time for this. Why is he thinking? He's, pawn takes, queen over. I, we've, it's not, that's time. Wow. Ah. Unbelievable. Unbelievable, a comeback, Woo. ladies and gentlemen, from Damiani going down the first match, but taking it in Armageddon. Brendan Jones coming in at the last second, <laughs> cheering. Me or something. Yeah, Victory on. Was like, oh, God, I'm dead. <laughs> Unbelievable. There may have been an illegal move. Someone said something. I didn't see it. Every every move was, was pretty much Double legal. Was, no, move. Every move was legal. Yo, when Winhart's coming in the picture, they get yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Yeah, check the tape. Well, Too much. Dogs. Yikes. The fix is in. Damiani. Yeah. Congratulations. That's that Hail Mary. <laughs> yeah, no, it was I'm great. Like, like, I corner him in there, like, I'm going to lose. I don't care. <laughs> freak him out. All right. Freak him out. And then I freaked myself out. <laughs> so I started second guessing, and I was like, what? <laughs> That's so epic. Uh, oh my god. Whenever my dad would talk about a game being played, he'd be like, to late to money coming in. <laughs> I mean, I've played it a lot That's in the last like, four or five <laughs> years. I kind of like casually played it before that. Yeah. Oh, right. <laughs> 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 you always tell me at the trap. Next up, we have another Damiani special. He's like, you don't place your bets. Thirty seconds. Does anyone want to play a quick game against me where I have where I have where I have thirty seconds and some have five minutes? We're beyond we're out of oh, we're out of time. Oh, we're out of time. Oh, like, oh, the there a way for you to Why are you computer? teasing me? <laughs> Dude, that's that's chess turn. So uh, good. Jason versus the computer. A quick bro, computer bro, record. Bro, bro. Oh, oh. Oh. My goodness. My goodness. Oh, computer oh, accurate. Really help sitting. Yeah, let me wrap this up real quick. Nothing like uh, chaining uh, computer sure. accurate like, moves. He <laughs> said that, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Three in a row. He was like, yeah, he was chaining them. It was incredible. Damiani, at one point you were a man possessed. <laughs> <laughs> a man maybe they meant maybe they meant I didn't hit the clock, but this I did at least twice. You, you, you were doing so I think, I think yeah. what they said was that uh, yeah. at one point the computer wasn't accurate to what the board was. Is all it was. I believe uh, if that's yeah, what the yeah, comment yeah. was that okay. you're saying. It got a little bugger. It, it's it's difficult. Which was fine because you were calling it live, so it didn't. Yeah, matter. yeah, yeah. So like every time I did, I was well, like, I think it was. Oh, I can't unclick it. Reclick it. I'm pretty sure everything was legit. Got it. Castlevania? Yeah, yeah. Castlevania? Yeah. Yeah. Probably should have like made me like yeah. put one hand by my back so I didn't like Wait, what? do that. What's going on? That was epic. Do you guys love chess content? Chat two hands. <laughs> <laughs> that's like yeah. that. He said, I don't, I don't, that's, that's, that's my like criminal name. Two hands. Two hands. He's like, don't you know he did some two handed shenanigans? Yeah. Like, I don't really we will never play hands. chess again unless you subscribe. Yeah. <laughs> you heard it. You heard yeah. it from Ben. Yeah. Yeah. No chess ever again unless you sub. Paywall. 
Subscribe or ban? <laughs> Paywall. Or ban. Ban. Yeah. Uh, I'm heading out. My Looks like you guys are going to be putting up some Mortal Kombat. Hell yeah. It's a pleasure. Guys. Jason, Brad, you are amazing. Jason. Congratulations. Thank you. Champion Thank you. Damiani. See you guys later. The legend. The legend. Living legend. Yep. Have a good one. <laughs> Woo! Or a Woo! It's a different piece. Snarky, thanks yeah. for the subs. It's like when I play Fire Emblem, where I think, like, I know shit, and then, like, <laughs> when Fire Emblem punishes you, it's like, you didn't consider this. <laughs> yes, you didn't yeah. see all the moves. You're done. <laughs> Dude, that made That's me like want the to worst play feeling. Like you it. think like I'm doing so good, yeah, and then they do something you didn't see. So like, I suck. I, okay. I, like I, I know how to play chess on a basic, basic, basic level. level. I don't know what castling is. I never uh, castle. I never castle. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I basically the even the I don't castle. I castle a lot, but I never knew you could play castle. It's a defensive move. Before you strike me as an offensively minded opponent. <laughs> Correct. Yeah. So Correct. 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 When I'm on my own, I'm DPS. When I'm with the party co op, I like it's to like heal. burning that cooldown when it's not, when there's no purpose for it. That looks cool. It yeah. looks cool. All right, y'all. Have a good one. I love you. Thank you. I just You're really amazing. Did it Jason was yelling at us. <laughs> what are we so supposed to do? Let's do what Jason wants. We're skipping wants. it. Hidden in plain sight. Yeah. Just until. No, we're, no. we're supposed to do Hidden in Plain Sight until now, and then Mortal Kombat, but uh, chess. Oh, Hidden in Plain Sight is only if we finish chess. So it's okay for yeah. chess to go along, but not Streets of Rage. Uh, I see. Streets of Rage Hey, <laughs> yo, make a Streets of Rage chess game. Who's <laughs> kidding? <laughs> so, oh, no. Salt. Streets of Rage chess. Update. Salt. It's trying to do updates. Oh. Yes, I can read the screen. Alright, uh, let me... Alright, Tyler, right, do you need anything else on here? Computer oh, accurate. Do, uh, yeah, so, computer can accurate. Three in a row. Can you see that in anime? Which like, he's computer accurate. Let me have this controller. I mean, I, I just did yeah, the guy's on the laptop. Yeah. Every move. Yeah, I think that's the right one. Yeah. I have no idea. Every move he does is computer accurate. He's making moves the computer doesn't even know. It's like it's impossible. Okay, now we're good. We're good. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Everything's good. Unless it's out of bed. Okay, I might. Might be down a PS3 controller. What? Oh. Uh, okay, well, so, 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 the movies and shows make it look so calm. <laughs> the time, <laughs> dude. The time changes everything. It's like a prison in your mind. All all real chess games have time. They usually have an hour. Tournaments. So stressful. Tournament. Professional. So I'm saying, I think 20 minutes. Professional for play. Each, 20 minutes sure. for each side would feel uh, really good. 10 but minutes is super pretty. Two and, well and a half games just made up an hour, yeah. though. We don't need that on stream. Well, because I, 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 well. like, I kept thinking it was 10 minutes. Like, oh, Jay's a game yeah, match is 10 minutes, but each person can get up to 10 yeah, minutes. So it's like 20 minutes. For a time I think if each had 20, it would be perfect. Goes 10 Dude, this PS3 is like, loaded. Look, that is a fun list, list right there. Yeah. Oh my god. This level is For this level of amateur play. Every, play. Single game, every game ends in time. time. Yeah. Yeah. It's, yeah. There's no. Yeah. yeah. I, mean, I agree. I agree. Now it says this one's 100%. I thought Blood was going to win, so I was like, oh, he's just going to play time. Yeah. 100%. 100%. Yeah, there you go. We're not skilled enough to end a game and checkmate yes, with yes, that yes, limited exactly. amount of time. Yeah, for sure. Like, that's the exactly. thing. It's like, for well, sure. For cool, us, it's just play the clock game every game time. Right. Yep. After that. That's the strategy. It's not about winning, it's about surviving. <laughs> yes. For but, sure. But that's winning. Yeah, right. I mean... Uh, for, it's, like... If, you if you're timing like professionals, so though, moves, though, they're gonna get you into like checkmate. Like, I messed up thinking I had checkmate at one point, and Jason's like, no, you don't! I'm like, oh, shit! Dude, I wanna- I wanna study in secret. For like three years, and then right. when we do a casual easy chess tournament, I want to casually challenge Jason <laughs> and destroy him. <laughs> Bring out your own chess, know, your your own chess pieces. pieces. <laughs> but like, <laughs> so your own set, all but like, destroy. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I brought my own. Yeah. <laughs> was it YouTuber who won that? Even like a two. Like, like, wouldn't it be anime that like what? he beat you still? And then was like, you're, you were you're like naive the people you were playing against told him that you were yes, practicing, yeah. and he was like, ah, yes. I, I foresaw Your this. knight was able to take Blood's king Jones, and queen at again? the same time. Uh, I got royal some royal fork. Royal uh, fork. They were both in danger royal until your one Change knight. Change the stream title to royal uh, fork. Yep. But then you didn't cash in. You had, yeah. the, you did the royal fork, and then you I mean, I didn't complete it. Fancy, but yeah. yeah. It was sick. Yeah. Thank you.